What's up, you beautiful people? And welcome to another video. Today, it's going to be quite a long one. So I thought I make myself comfortable and you should do so too. As you may have guessed from the title, um, this video is about our trip to Tromsø, which happened last November, I think. It's actually quite a time ago already. Our goal was to see the Northern Lights and it was also kind of a bucket list thing for us to do. So that's exactly what we did and I hope you enjoyed the video. We had to leave quite early in the morning for Zurich where we took our first flight to Frankfurt and there we took our connecting flight to Tromsø. As you may know, in Tromsø you only get like a few hours of daylight uh, in the winter. So we arrived at around 2 p.m. and the sun was already setting. We went straight to our hotel to drop our bags off and then explored the area around the hotel and the city a bit. I first loaded the film of Cinestill 800T in my Leica and I pushed it one stop. Actually, everything you see in this video is pushed one stop. We were very tired from traveling and went back to the hotel and then to sleep, or so we thought at least. Because when you are in Tromsø or any other country and looking for the Northern Lights, you are always on alert and have your apps online to alarm you when something is happening in the sky. This was actually our first glimpse of the Northern Lights, but you could only see them on camera. So I took some photos with my digital one and then went back to bed for real this time.
Mir geht es auch nur mit diesen zwei Filmen hier. Day two was actually our busiest one. We had quite a lot planned for that day. And our first goal was to go on top of Storsteinen, which is a mountain uh, located near Tromsø. It's actually in the city. And yeah, we took the cable car up there and took some photos. As I already mentioned, you don't get a lot of daylight up there in Tromsø in the winter. The light actually lasts from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. And it's not a long time, but the light you get is very, very beautiful the whole time. When I got my scans back, I was actually quite disappointed about the sinister ones because they had like um, green and magenta patterns on them. I talked to my lab guy about that and he told me that's actually quite a common problem with Sinistil 800T and I think I won't buy that film from now on because those weren't the first problems I had with this film. Next I loaded the roll of Portra 400 and push it also one stop. After warming up with some tea, we already went back down and back to the hotel, but I took some really nice photos along the way there.
for the night of day two, we booked the Northern Lights tour, which was the biggest plan we had for this trip. After meeting up with Harry, our tour guide, we rushed to the location where he wanted to take us. Once we arrived at our location, we exactly knew why Harry wanted to get there so fast. When we looked up to the sky, the light show was already happening. So I instantly jumped out of the car and started to take photos. And first I took some photos with my Fuji and later I switched to film. Just kidding, here's the photo. After the first few shots with the Leica, I had to switch roles and almost rip the film out of the canister. Shout out to Harry, he was a true legend for taking us to the best spot there is because our group was the only one there and on other spots there were like 70 people. And so once they'd made their own cup, it'd be their personal cup that they had to keep for the rest of their life. After taking some more photos, we started to get really cold and went back to the heated van. We waited there for a bit, trying to get warm again. And just as about our group was to leave, Harry came up running to the car and told us we had to jump out and look up to the sky because there was a second show happening above us. I didn't take any more photos of the second show as I was just trying to enjoy it. But it was so bright, it even showed up on the GoPro. After the second show, we went back to the hotel and straight to bed there because it was already two o'clock. What an amazing experience that was. Day three was a chill and relaxed day for us. We didn't have anything planned really. So we came up with the idea to hike up to Lake... Uh, I forgot the name. Restvanne. Yeah, and yeah, we hiked up there and took some really nice photos. Thank you. 
I suddenly saw a shot on the other side of the road and I'm so glad I went there because I took one of my favorite photos of the trip on that location. Time to whip out the 135 again. So that was it for day three. On day four, we had booked our next tour, which was a wild watching tour. But unfortunately, my GoPro died. I have proof, I was recording. I show you the image here. But somehow, um, I think because of the battery uh, getting too cold, it died, it just died. It didn't save any files that day so unfortunately i do not have any video footage of that day but i hope you enjoy the photos anyway Day five was our last day and we had to leave around noon, I think. And Tromsø said goodbye to us with some really beautiful light and a flight over the mountains of Norway. Or if you have made it through the video, here I have some tips for you if you want to visit Tromsø too. The first tip would be don't trust the apps if you don't know much about the Aurora. 
I can't recommend the tours there highly enough because the guys living up there, they really know what they're doing and where to take you. Tip uh, two would be bring your own thermos because it gets really cold really quickly there. And with some hot beverage, you can easily heat yourself up again. Tip number three would be bring some feet warmers because on those Northern Light tours, you get really, really cold because you don't move that much and especially your extremities will get really, really cold. So you have to do anything to keep them warm. The fourth and last tip would be get a rental car out there because you can visit some really cool places just outside Tromsø then. And you shouldn't really take the bus there because if you miss the bus back, there aren't that many of them. And yeah, if you miss it, you will be stuck in the cold and you definitely don't want to do that. Those would be my four tips for you if you want to visit Tromsø too. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I see you in the next one. Peace.